Hey everybody, back with another video. Um, today we're going to be going over how to create these kind of visualizations like what I have here. So we're going to be using the NFL Python package and we're going to be populating this visualization, the points on this visualization with the team logo. Uh, I think it's a cool way to look at football data uh, and there's a lot, there's a crap load of data in this Python package. So, um, you know, there's a lot of exploration to be done. This is a great way to visualize it. So uh, let's go over this. I've got two visualizations. We'll probably only have time to cover one, but um, this first one here is air yards versus yards after catch. So x-axis air yards, which is uh, how far the quarterback's throwing the ball before it gets to the receiver. And then yards after catch is uh, self-explanatory. So um, teams in the top right here, like the Rams, are bombing the ball, and they're also getting a lot of help from their receivers with yards after the catch. So I think we can thank Cooper Cup for that. And bottom left here, like the Saints, they're they're throwing short passes. They're getting almost no help with yards after the catch either. So it's an interesting uh, relationship there. Uh, next, we've got a little more complicated of a visualization. Uh, this is getting a look at EPA, which stands for expected points added. Um, there's a great article here on what expected points added means. So at any given point, when an uh, offense is on the field, they're expected to score a certain number of points. Um, so, for example, here we've got first and 10 at the 20, and they're expected to score 0.7 points. Uh, if they were to throw the ball 20 yards, their expected points goes up, obviously. And that difference between those two points in time is the expected points added. Um, that could be also be negative if something bad happens. So x-axis, we have expected points added per run. And y-axis, we have expected points added per pass. So um, teams in this upper quadrant, like the Bills, Chiefs, Packers, and Bucks, are efficient in both the run and the pass. So they're helping themselves whether or not uh, whichever type of offensive play they're using. Um, teams in this quadrant, like the Rams, are only pass efficient. Their run game is, is lacking. Uh, bottom right here, bottom left here, sorry. Uh, they're hurting themselves every time they snap the ball. So, um, you know... Teams like the Browns and uh, technically the Ravens uh, are teams that are efficient in the run, but not the pass. And if you follow any um, NFL data people, sabermetrics type people, um, they're all very uh, harsh on the run. They, they think that the NFL is a passing league and um, efficiency comes from passing the ball. So uh, this chart kind of backs that up. Um, you can see there's there's no there's only two teams that are um, efficient more efficient in the run than they are in the pass. So um, something interesting to consider. I'm sure football traditionalists would disagree with me there, but oh well. All right, let's look at um, how we made this uh, visualization. So um, the package we're using to get the data is called NFL Data Pi. Uh, we're going to use an alias, the NFL, uh, as an alias, so that we don't have to type that out every time. So Let's run this, import our dependencies. Um, next, we're going to use this NFL uh, function to import team description. So when we print this out, we're going to see we're get, we get data on the team, uh, like team name, uh, team nickname, colors. Uh, what we're concerned with is this column here. We're going to be grabbing, we're going to be going to this URL where the logo is stored and saving it to our computer. So um, let's, whoops, let's drop all of the columns and just leave the team abbreviation and the team logo. We're going to be using the team abbreviation um, throughout this code base to join. So when we define this logo uh, data frame, we'll, later we'll be joining our data uh, based on the team abbreviation on here. So we know how we can point the data to the logo and put it on the chart. So let's run that. Uh, we're going to initialize a couple of empty lists. One is um, where the logo is located in the file system, and the next is the team abbreviation. So we're going to use this function here to create a logos folder if it doesn't already exist. So we run that, and you can see we've created a logos folder. It's empty right now, but we're going to populate it using this for loop. So we're going to loop through each team in the logos data frame, go to their, their URL, and grab the team logo and download the file. Um, we're also gonna um, <clears throat> we're also going to uh, put the path in another column so we can reference it later. 
and we're going to reference it via team abbreviation. So that's what's happening here. Um, the reason we're using a, a .tif file name is that's the highest resolution image file type. So um, if you use a JPEG or a PNG file type, sometimes the logos get kind of blurry when you put them on the screen. So let's run that. And we can take a look here. Uh, we got all the logos now. So you might notice a couple of duplicates like um, Oakland and Las Vegas. Uh, this data goes back really far. I think from 1999 on is when you're going to get the full picture of all of those, um, all the data. But, uh, you know, the data goes all the way back to like the 60s or something. So next we're going to package this, um, these two lists that we just populated, the abbreviation and the logo path. And we're going to throw them in a dictionary. We're going to take that dictionary and make a data frame out of it. And you can see here we've got the team abbreviation and the logo path. So that's how we... Um, <clears throat> that's how we're going to reference the file later and put it on the chart. Next, let's load in the data. We're going to use this import play-by-play -play data. And something to note here, uh, whether or not you're loading multiple years, you have to put the years in a list. So I've got 2021 here, and it has to be on a list even though it's a single year. You can multi load multiple years at a time, um, but when we take a look at this data here, you'll be able to see like how massive it is. There's 500,000 rows and 382 columns. So there's just an insane amount of data and a lot to be parsed through here. You know, you can make any kind of analysis you want. There's, um, you know, personnel data who was on the fields. There's statistical data like uh, expected points added, which we went over. There's different flags, like if the quarterback was hit or not, um, you know, whether it was a touchdown, sack, laterals, everything you can imagine is here. So. Next, let's let's slice through the data and um, prepare our data for that first chart we saw, which was air yards versus yards after catch. So to start, we're just going to create a new data frame uh, based on this data frame we loaded up here, and only select the team, the row, sorry, the columns that we care about, <clears throat> which is air yards, yards after the catch, and this POS team just stands for um, whatever team was possessing the ball uh, at that given row. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and group by the possession team and then sum up air yards and yards after the catch to get team totals for each of those statistics. Um, next, we're going to reset the index. Uh, the reason we do this is because by default, this group by function is going to set the index as whatever you're grouping it by. So it's going to um, uh, spit out the possession team as the index. And the reason we don't want that is because it's, uh, like I said earlier, we're going to be joining on this team abbreviation. And if something is the index, it's a little more difficult to join on it. So I just reset the index. Um, we're gonna rename the possession team column to team abbreviation, and we'll print this out. So you can see we have team totals for all of these statistics. Next, we're gonna create our visualization data frame. Um, this is what will be ready for visualization. So we're gonna merge the data frame we just made with all the statistics with our logo DF, which we made above. Uh, so we're gonna join the column by default. We'll, they'll join on whatever columns they share. Um, so in this case, it's team abbreviation. They're gonna join on that. And then we'll have the team abbreviation, the statistics and the logo file path for later. So when I print this out, you'll see. We've got, like I said, now we got the logo path. <clears throat> Pretty nice. Um, part 2B is the more complicated EPA uh, visualization. There's uh, That's a little more in-depth. That's probably for a future video, but the code base will be available uh, to every for everyone to use however they please. So part 3, like I said, is um, <clears throat> creating this visualization now. So uh, we're going to define this function uh, to get the image and um, use it as our uh, plot points. So I did not create this function. I found this on Stack Overflow. Um, but I found that if you adjust this zoom uh, parameter, uh, that'll adjust the size of the points on the chart. So uh, if it's a little blurry or too big, they're overlapping, you can adjust it here. I found that point 0.1, at least for the visualizations that I've made, is perfect. So we define the function. Um, next, these are just defining. We're going to use auto layouts. And this is the size of the chart that I want. Next, this is this whole block here is more or less reusable. 
you would just, whatever you want for your X value and your Y value, you just change that here. Um, in my case, we're using air yards and yards after the catch. And then we're gonna use the file path. All of these conveniently we did above are all in the same data frame. So makes it nice. We're gonna define the subplots and then loop through the X values, the Y values and the paths, um, put that on the chart. And lastly, these are just some, you know, visualization specific uh, parameters I'm adjusting here, like the uh, X axis range, Y axis range, and then like titles and stuff. So we run that, <clears throat> we get this uh, visualization that's spit out. So um, that's pretty nice. Like I said, I think this looks like a really clean visualization if you're maybe writing about uh, the NFL or doing any kind of data analysis for football or sports data. Um, I think in the future, uh, I'm going to do some more in-depth analysis. This will be kind of this NFL logo thing. So kind of be another segment uh, in tandem with my ESPN fantasy football segments. So if you have any ideas for uh, things you'd like me to analyze beyond the two things that I just mentioned, let me know. I'm open to creating new videos, uh, new video topics. So uh, GitHub repo will be in the description. Just feel free to use it. And thanks for watching.